Hey everybody, I've got a cool little story to tell you today, um, a read to you and share with you. It's called Mad Madlenka, sorry, Madlenka. I'm gonna have to practice that. Uh, but there's a lot to this book that the pictures give us little clues about. And I don't know if you can even tell, there's a little tiny earth and on it there's a little tiny pink dot. If you find it, touch it on the screen there. Then we go to a little closer up of the earth and hopefully you can also see the little dot and then you'll see why I'm showing you this. It's definitely a pattern. Then we zoom in and this is actually a map of lower Manhattan in New York City and somewhere here you should also see a pink dot right here if you haven't seen it yet. That pink dot is going to be really important to this story. We're gonna jump in and I'll point out uh, what that pink dot has to do with it as we go. So this page says, in the universe, on a planet, on a continent, in a country, in a city, on a block, in a house, in a window, in the rain, a little girl named Madlenka, and you can see her here with that tiny little pink dot, and then you can see her a little easier here, finds out her tooth wiggles. How many of you have ever figured out that some of your teeth will wiggle? Well, she has to tell everyone. So she runs down the stairs of her apartment building. Hey, everyone, she shouts to the whole city block. My tooth is loose. Can you see that little pink person there? Loose. Jumping with joy, she skips down the street and sees her friend, Mr. Gaston, the French baker. Here she is, and here is the French baker. Hello, Mr. Gaston. My tooth is loose. I'm a big girl now. Mr. Gaston bakes croissants, French bread, madeleines, cakes with fruit, chocolate cakes, and then it says, when I have a birthday, he puts a pink ballerina on my cake. He tells me about Paris and about France. Bonjour, Madeleine. Let's celebrate. And look, look at this fun way that this book is put together. They go celebrating, and I think what this means is they talk a lot about Paris, France. Madlenka wants to tell her friends, Hello, Mr. Singh, my tooth is loose. Mr. Singh t sells newspapers, magazines, and candy. He is from India. Then she sees Chow's ice cream truck. Look, Mr. Chow, my tooth wiggles. Mr. Chow is from Italy. Cats, pizza, pizza, and spaghetti are also from Italy. You have to keep turning the book around to read it. Around the corner, Medlenka finds Ms. Grimm. Good morning, my tooth is loose. Miss Grimm is from Germany and knows many stories like Snow White and the Bremen Town Musicians. Sasserical Madele, good news. I think that that means good news in whatever language Mr. Singh speaks. Buongiorno, Madalena. This calls for a treat. Guten Tag, Magda. Let me tell you a story. Do you notice how everyone she meets pronounces her name a little differently and calls her a little something different? Medlenka thinks this must be the best day of her life. Oh, there's Mr. Eduardo, the green grocer. So if you remember, she came out of her building right over here and she's just gone not even all the way around the uh, one corner yet. Hello, Eduardo, my tooth wiggles. Eduardo is from Latin America. He sells flowers, trees, plants. His store feels like the rainforest. Forest, rain, butterflies, tapirs, parrots, jaguars, snakes. Latin America also has mountains, rivers, people, pyramids. Eduardo also has Pineapples, oranges, apples, bananas, corn, tomato, potatoes. Hola, Magdalena, Senorita Magdalena. Look at 
look at this amazing artwork. This is the kind of book you could probably spend a long time studying every single picture. Hi, Cleopatra. My tooth is loose. Cleopatra is a school friend. Cleopatra and all the girls can't wait to lose their baby teeth and grow up. Medlenka and Cleopatra play in their secret garden in the courtyard. They pretend it is a desert and then a jungle and then the ocean. There's a rhino, eagles. There are secret animals in the garden. Lions, a T-Rex, a Komodo dragon. Sometimes they dance. Cleopatra is named after an Egyptian queen. Some of you use your imaginations like this when you play together, I know. Cool, baby. Let's play in the courtyard. Oh, look at this. This seems like it's a little bit more in their imaginations. Who else can she tell? Oh, Mrs. Calm has to know. Hello, Mrs. Calm. My tooth wiggles. Mrs. Calm is from Asia. She has so many wrinkles and no teeth. Her store is full of magical things from Asia. There are many Buddhas, pink, violet, purple, blue, and silk scarves, lucky dragons, masks, a picture of the Dalai Lama, chopsticks, green tea, rice, black tea, yak hats, samurai swords, Great Wall of China, longevity symbol, lots of different smells, and the lotus. Tashik Delik Mandala. That is a lucky sign. Oh dear, I'm late. Madlenka, where have you been? Looks like she walked back into her apartment. Well, I went around the world. And really, we know she just went around the block. And I lost my tooth. And this story was dedicated to people that were all born in New York City. But this map shows all the different places where people are from that lived on her block. What a cool story. This might be one we need to get for our library. <laughs>